All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops with great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the favor. God's for people here for bear burning some early morning oil. Through the spirit you have, Bahashem Shai, I want to always start the week off with fear scriptures. You know that this is a good way to start the week off, so to speak. You know, let's get this right quick. Quick little lesson, I got to head out. Quick little lesson through the spirit you have, but Shemel Shah, with everything that's going on, fear the Lord. <laughs> just, 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 just straight up and down. Let's just, just, just get it. And the Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, the fear of the Lord. And the Lord is going to get his fear. That's the one thing about the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, who you equally call God and Jesus Christ, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, who they equally call God. His name is Yahweh. Right? His only begotten Son, in which the name Yahweh means, it means he exists. He is. And his only begotten son, who you equally call Jesus, Yahweh Shai, he saves, he delivers. You see, they're going to get their fear. All right? Let's get it again. Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And if you ain't got the fear of the Lord on you and you're an Israelite, you're in trouble. We 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 don't, we, we don't you know, play no games. It ain't no running around the fence and all that. No. If you ain't got the fear of the Lord on you, you are in trouble. You see, I'm looking at the news now. All kind of shooters. Yeah, man, just turn on the news. And it'll give you more reasons on why we should fear the Lord. Just turn on the news, man. You ain't got to do nothing else. You ain't got to go outside. Little hotel shooting. You see. Hotel shooting, somebody got burnt up, this, that, that, look, look, look. Full force out of family house because it, it caught on damn fire. But we got protected throughout the night. Why? Because there's a healthy dose of fear. You, you will get it sooner or later. You see? The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, is the beginning of knowledge, but fools... Blockheads, meatballs, jackasses, fools, despise, meaning hate wisdom and instruction. And anytime you hate the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, look, it's judgment. Judgment has to come down. Let's get it right quick. It said they despise wisdom. I don't have to listen to the Bible. What are you guys talking about? I'm my own man. I'm my own woman. All right, let's get this then. Proverbs 13, 13, whoso despises the word, meaning the words of the Bible. The Lord don't care if you hate the Quran, the Egyptian book of the dead, the, the 42 negative laws of Miyak, the Harry Potter books, the Mormon books. The Lord say, look, you, you're supposed to hate those books anyway. You see? But, but when you despise this book, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. The Lord will destroy you, Israel. He will destroy you. That book is a fairy tale, but what we're what we going to see, we're going to see. We're going to see if it's a fairy tale book, right? Everything the Lord said was going to happen according to the Bible is happening. But you keep saying it's a keep living in, um, that, um, in that fairy tale land. What, what is it called? Um, that illusion. You see, keep, keep living in fantasy world. Eventually, you got to come out of that fantasy world because reality is going to hit you, right? But fools despise, look, look, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. And the Lord wants us to fear him. But, no, saying a whole lot of our people are filled with pride. So, so I got a scripture for that. This is Proverbs 16, 18. Pride go up before destruction. You don't want to take heed to the word. And it's good to say pride is when one turneth from his maker. You see all these people walking around with all that pride? They don't really believe in the Heavenly Father and the Son. The Israelites, you see, because pride is hateful before the Most High and man. You see? 
Matter of fact, we're gonna see if we can get that next. Proverbs 16, 18. You, you don't want to be, you don't want to have pride on you in these times. That you don't want to have it, period, but especially in the times that we're living in there, because the Lord is judging all these prideful people. I mean, He's judging them, man. They're losing their cribs, hell, losing their lives, losing limbs. You name it, man. All because of that pride. Pride go up before destruction and in haughty spirit before a fall. You see, people, they, they pride is on no what? Right before a judgment comes. Why? Because there's a way that's seeming right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Let's see if I can get that, though. Let's see if I can get that, that one in, in the apocryphal. Listen to this. So Rock chapter 10, verse 7, also known as Ecclesiasticus, 10, verse 7. Pride, the arrogance, pop, pompous spirit that people walk around with. Uh, uh, you can't touch me. I'm feeling myself, I'm conceited and all this other nonsense. That's a form of pride, right? I can't be corrected. You can't teach me nothing. I know it all. That's pride. Sirach chapter 10, verse 7. Pride is hateful before the most high. The, the God of the Bible hates a prideful person, man. All right? Real talk. Pride is hateful before the most high, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and man. And by both do one commit iniquity, man. Sin. You see? And, 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 the, Lord has got, and the Lord got something for that, you see? <laughs> the, the Lord got something for that, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah, li li listen to this. So, Rock chapter 10, verse 12. The beginning of pride. Is when one, because I quoted this, the beginning of pride is when one departeth from the most high. You see a person humble, man or woman, they're humble at first, but then you see them getting very prideful. That's them departing from their maker. You see, they, they don't need the Lord no more because they're probably financially stable. You know, probably came off, you know, career booming. You see wealth is coming in. Everybody's sweating them. Instagram likes three men killed in shootout outside Fairview Hotel. It's, it's going down, man. That pride, man. You feeling yourself. No, but just, you can just see pride oozing off these people, but the Lord got something for you, though. The beginning of pride is when one departed from his maker, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and his heart. Let me read it again. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? Spring break shooting caused chaos in Texas and Florida. It's going down, man. All right? And his heart, meaning his mind, is turned away from his maker, man. Prideful ass people, man. And it's getting warm, too. Watch all this pride start oozing off these people, man. But but guess what? Guess what's going to stop all that pride? Guess what's going to stop all that pride? Judgment. Judgment. What is that other scripture, man? Let's see. I, I just want to get a couple more fifth scriptures, and then, then I'm going to wrap it up. Let's see. What is that? That's, that's Proverbs. Let's go back to Proverbs. I'm thinking it's what, 14? Proverbs 14. Bear with me. Yep. The water you have by Shemiah was shy. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Pride is going to catch up to you, man. Your pride, judgment is going to catch up to you. You Israelites that are filled with pride. Hey, this video ain't for you heathens, man. It's for the Israelites. Proverbs 14, 12. There is a way that seems right unto a man or a woman, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So you walk around not fearing the God of the Bible. Yes, it feels good to you. Just doing all kind of abominable acts. No one can correct you. No one can teach you. You, you don't listen to nobody. You see? All that seem right unto you, right? But the end, the end results of your nonsense is, are the ways of death. Keep following out the sleazy E you want to. Keep following sleazy E and his nonsense. See where it leads you, Israel. See where it leads you. You see? The scriptures tell us a wise man shall, shall hear and increase in learning. Let's go back to some fear scriptures. No, because I'm about to wrap it up. I got to head out. Uh, matter of fact, was it Deuteronomy 10? 
And I'm just flowing in the spirit. I think it's Deuteronomy, the 10th chapter. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Yep, 12. And now Israel, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? What does the Lord command us to do? That's what you look up the definition for the word require. Look up your words, Israel. Look up the meaning of words. What does the Lord, and now Israel, a people before us to place us. What doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear, that's the first thing on the list, is to fear. But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. And what's the ways of the Lord? The commandments. You rehearse them. The law of the commandments. You rehearse them to the best of your ability. You see? Because faith, once again, faith without works is dead. And to love him, same thing. And to serve the Lord with all thy heart and with all thy soul. You see? And the Lord don't want it no other way. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai don't want it no other way. Those that are not seeking the God of the Bible will be put down. Will be put down. Ecclesiastes. Let's see. I'm going to jump, jump straight to the point. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's plain as day. The Lord commands us to fear. That's the whole reason why we was created, is to fear the God of the Bible. It ain't, ain't going to be the dead horse. I got to roll out. Lord willing, the elect was edified. Fear. Fear. That's the first step of being accepted by the God of the Bible, right? Fear and having faith, right? I will get one more. I will get one more. And stroll on down to the bottom. You fear where the fear of the Lord is at, there's help. Psalms 147. Let's just click on it. Let's click on it. Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord taketh pleasure. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who they equally call God of Jesus Christ, taketh pleasure in them that fear him. Just remember that. You fear the Lord, we fear the Lord. They, they, they take pleasure in that, right? And those that hope in his mercy. That, that's, that's, that's all we got. Hoping in the mercy of the Lord. Fearing the Lord. But I ain't going to be the dead horse. You see the scripture, man. The Lord taking pleasure in them that fear him. All right? Shalom.